Ngataka niseme hii maneno tumesikia viongozi wengine wamepotea njia. As a country we are facing difficult times economically. The president and I and the rest of government are very busy working on the economic revival of this country. Trying to create opportunities for employment. Trying to look for foreign investors for direct foreign investment in this country. Naona wengine watu wetu wamepotea wanaongea mambo ya uchaguzi ya 2032. Those are people who are lost. We are only one year in office. How can you discuss 2032? Even 2027 is a premature debate. Sindio? Mimi sitaki mtu anihusishe kwa hiyo debate ya 32 na nini. I am busy nikisaidia rais kufua uchumi. Niko busy kwa mambo ya kahawa na maziwa na majani chai. Saa hii nangangana na mambo ya elnino. Mimi niko pale kumusaidia rais every day kuchia cabinet committees. Ananituma ngambo, ananituma hapa. We have no time to engage into useless and productive debates about 2032 is premature, is unnecessary, is a misadventure. Na ningetaka kuuliza viongozi wetu wale waka kukanya kwanza. Let us focus on the economic transformation of this country. Let us focus on assisting President William Ruto to get this country on the right economic trajectory. That is what is important for this country now. When the time comes kwa hiyo maneno, huko mbele, that is very far away. I don't understand how in one year people are talking about 2032. Nine years to come. Unajua jata kama utakuwa uwai. Hiyo ni mazugumuzo ambaye ni duni. That is useless talk that has no place in our country. As a country, we are focused on the economy. And all discussion should revolve about the economic transformation of this country. Iyo diyo mambo ya mana for now. If there are those who want to engage in those debates, please don't drag us into that nonsense. As we want to focus on the right thing, nani kumusaidia rais, assisting our country to get back our country on the right path in matters economy and in matters uh, the welfare of the Kenyan people. To me, that is what is important. We wanted to come to Mlima for me is a very strong emotional connection for me. Nikiwa muti ya mlima. Nikiwa hapa, nasikia mzuri. Mwishimua kabodi, ukintafutia kashamba hapa, hata kama ni kakumi, nijenge, nikuwe, nikikana nyinyi hapa kwa mlima. Ndiyo, tunaketi na nyinyi vile natakikana. Kwa hivyo, sasa tungetaka tufanya ile kazi ilitulete, ni ya kuchangia hizi makanisa 22 of them.